Hello, today we'll be creating a character grid, taking that out of assembly to create a traditional sketch, then inking and colouring that sketch to create our base character of which we can create multiple versions of. Let's get started. Firstly, let's create our grid. It's made up of eight spherical shapes. The top one is our main reference, which is our head, and the other seven is the body broken down into elements. You can create this by simply using a circle from the basic shapes and a stroke. Once complete, I exported this and sketched my body. I started with the head. The second circle included the shoulders and the upper chest. The third includes the biceps and the middle of the body. And the fourth is the rest of the arms and the waist. Our fifth is our hands and upper legs. Our sixth is our upper legs and our knees. The seventh is our shins and finally the eighth our ankles and our toes. Our sketch is done. Now let's import this back into assembly. We're now going to ink the outline of half our character. We're going to use a simple spline with four curved points. I recommend doing this in small chunks and then duplicating our original spline saved on the side. Let's speed this bit up. With that complete, let's select all, group and duplicate. Flip it and place it on the other side and we have ourselves a perfectly symmetrical outline. Now let's work on the inside line. This time we're going to use a thinner, simpler line with only three points. Skipping ahead, you can see I've gone through the same process of only doing half the body. And in the same way, I'm going to group these lines, duplicate and flip to the other side. Right, it's time to remove the background image and change the color of our lines to black. And here we have our inked character. Now we can move on to coloring our character. We're going to block out the colors by grabbing a simple square, increasing the points and roughly creating the shape around the arm. We don't have to be exact because the edges will sit behind our lines once we've moved them to the back. Let's again speed this bit up. The final thing now, again, is to select all our shapes, group, duplicate and flip. Put them in place and then overlay any gaps. For our shadows and highlights, we're going to start by selecting all our colors duplicating them and grouping them. Now let's grab a square and put it over half the image. Using the Boolean functionality, let's cut this in half again. Change the color to black and place it back over our image. Now I'm going to add individual shadows and highlights around the neck, arms, chest and legs. With our character complete, it's now super easy to change the color of his body or to add other costume elements using assembly shapes. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.